Welcome back. I'm here with Erin Kral from the Northern Express. Erin, I hear you have a big announcement right now. I do. I have a huge announcement. You know, I come up with a lot of events that are going on in the area. Always. You have the best ones. And this is probably the biggest one. Um, the biggest. We are having a birthday tomorrow. Doris Brackett of Traverse City is turning 108 years old tomorrow. 108 years young. 108. Look at Doris. There's Doris with her daughter, Jen, and her granddaughter, Peggy. Is she the oldest person in Northern Michigan? She's got to be. She's I mean, got to be. She's got to be. They tried to get her on uh, the Willard Scott uh, shout out for 100 plus, but they didn't get it in time. So this oh, is her well, TV this is a, shout out. This is her shout out. It is. So happy birthday to Doris. Big happy birthday, fan. Doris. You're looking, you're looking wonderful at 108, I have to say. Yeah. Moving on, on uh, tomorrow night, there's a, yes. there's a special a fundraiser, I heard. Yes, um, the night at the opera at the City Opera House, actually. Mm -hmm. Now, this is actually going for a very good cause. Um, we spoke with uh, some of the organizers earlier this week. Uh-huh, yes, and uh, this is a fundraiser for a cancer survivor. Her name is Renee Johnson Edley. This is to cover her uh, medical bills, and they're going to feature the uh, leads of the City Opera House, or I'm sorry, the Fan of the Opera leads at TC West, their performance. Oh yeah, they're wonderful. They're going to be performing music of the night. Uh, this is going to in, include appetizers, uh, drinks, and tickets are just um, $25. And they go right to the family, right? They go directly to her. Fantastic. Also tomorrow, we need, to, we need to celebrate this snow that we finally have and not whine about it, right? We do, exactly. Um, this is event, it's called the Snowball. This is hosted by Tart Trails. This is at Timber Ridge Resort in Traverse City. This is so they can get a new snow groomer, basically. Um, so if you the utilize the The boss has been trail, going on for how long? Oh my gosh, years. <laughs> Before we were born, let's put it that way. Yeah, basically. So if you're, a, if you're a utilizer of the trail, this is a great way to support it. It's $60, you get pizza, desserts, and local beer and wine. You get food, beer, wine, and you get to hang out in the snow. And hang, 60 out, bucks. hang out with fellow um, trail users. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Whatever that might be. <laughs> and then on Saturday, what? Wassailing? Is, is that what it is? What's wassailing? Wassail, well, a wassail is a traditional winter drink. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Okay. But um, Sounds interesting. What they're going to do at the Martha Wagro Education Center, this is Saturday, they are going to toast the health of the orchards. Ooh, okay. So they're going to take a nice little hike out to the orchards, have a toast, come back into the Education Center. There's going to be food and libations. Food and libations. And this is free. Free food and libations. Free. Yeah, nothing better than that. <laughs> That's right. And then on Saturday, we have a snowshoe race. Yes, we have the snow. Thank goodness. So yes. um, this is at the Grass River Natural area in Bel Air. Starts at 10 o'clock. You can choose from a 5K or 10K option. And then following the event, bring the kids down because there's lots of stuff going on. Um, crafts, games, ton of stuff. 11 to 3, um, yeah. So like, like I said, you know, celebrate the snow, Hold get out it. there. And we were talking to someone earlier in the week about winter depression and seasonal depression. Yes. She said that's the one thing you need to do, just get out, enjoy the weather, get a little sunshine. It doesn't look like it, but it's out there. Get some vitamin D. It gets through the clouds. It gets, it gets through gets the there. clouds, yes. Yeah. Well, if you're in the mood to laugh tonight, oh, there's something going on. Take a look. There is. Yeah, I recently went on a date with a girl who was 23. I'm 32. That's a nine-year difference, right? We're at dinner and she goes, Mike, aren't you worried about what people are going to think? And I was like, uh, I'm more worried about the condition my palms are going to be in after receiving all of these high fives. <laughs> oh, that is comedian Mike Stanley yep. back in northern Michigan. Um, this is the Laugh Your Heine Off comedy series. Uh, this is at Turtle Creek at 9 to 1030. Mike Stanley um, is going to be performing. Great guy. From Michigan. From Michigan. That's right. Yep. And it, it, these are some funny videos. If you guys look online, there's some really funny videos. It's called In Frequency with Mike Stanley. Just absolutely ridiculously hilarious. Yes. But there's no cover for this. And uh, we have, Aaron, you have a little surprise for everyone. I do. We have a guest. Oh, we have a guest? Oh. Hi. Well, who is here? I'm here. Mike Stanley's here. Mike it's Stanley's a, I'm wearing here. the same shirt I was wearing in that video that you guys Is that the only shirt on. you own? I th it makes it seem that way, doesn't it? It's <laughs> like I just popped off screen and now I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we were looking, you, you saw you in a tub and, and talking to Kevin Costner. Yes, yeah. So how would you describe your comedic style for no one who's ever seen you? I think it's just it's just a good time. It's fun for everybody. Uh, I talk about family, a little bit of politics, a little bit of everything. So if, you, so if it, you've lived life at all, you're going to relate to uh, my comedy. Are, are, we talk about, are we talking about swearing here? Are we talking about swearing? <laughs> I'm kidding. No, we can if you want. So, but is it for maybe an older crowd or? 
I think I can hit all demographics. I think it'll be fun for, for everybody. A lot of pop out. culture? Yeah, I mean, I'm performing in the casino tonight, so it's definitely going to be an Good adult crowd. an adult friendly show for the most part. So. And it's free. I mean, can't be yeah, bad. Yeah, it's free and it's cold out. Just come out. I mean, I know it looks deceiving. It looks beautiful <laughs> outside, <know. laughs> gauging by, this, by the window here, but it's, it's cold out. So just come. And then there's. Is there somebody else here? Yeah, you have a guest. I, I happen to travel with a very funny comedian by the name <laughs> of Mike Leibovitz, and he's also here. Oh, hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey, um, yeah, I'm just the opening act, so they don't give me a chair. But it's yeah. yeah, he doesn't deserve a chair. <laughs> so, uh, he actually day. sleeps under my bed in the hotel room. Too, <laughs> I do. So yeah, they have a, one of those pull-out things. What's that called? A trundle? Is that what that's yeah. called? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. I sleep in the trundle. You knew yeah. it. A trundle. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's really unfortunate when he brings women home to the hotel room. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah the trundle. Sleep so, under there. what are you going to be talking about tonight? Oh gee, um, I don't know. I I might see it's it's uh it's always a crapshoot with me. I don't know. Not. <laughs> Not to make a Obviously, gambling joke, but uh, comes on and yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm, yeah, I probably will also talk about all different kinds of adult-themed things, but they'll we'll hit on uh, family. I talk about my kid a lot. I got a kid. You make fun of your kid? Okay. I make well, I make fun of myself <laughs> as a parent, you know. And uh, I don't his know. kid sleeps in a bed. He does not, however. <laughs> That's oh, right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, all so. right. Well, well, bye. Well, we're gonna we're gonna see you uh, later tonight. Then I'll see you okay. at the show, Mike. Uh, I'm really big fans. All right. Oh. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, Mikes and yeah. Aaron, yes. so much. If you'd like more information on any of these events featured in this week's Northern Express, you can head over to our website at northlive.com.